Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see a palindrome program in Java. Okay, so sounds good. So first, what we are going to do is so we are going to create the number. Okay, num equal to whatever number it is, so we can give. So we are going to check whether the number is palindrome or not. What actually palindrome? Okay, uh, actually the palindrome is. You know like this three five three you can see in reverse order it is palindrome right <laughs> in reverse order which is three five three in uh, you know ascending order also it is three five three which is called uh, palindrome number okay uh, palindrome string whatever it is in the next video we are going to see the uh, palindrome string as well so in this video we are going to see the palindrome number okay so i'm going to give the number which shown above yeah three five three okay actually this is a palindrome number okay so here we are going to create the temporary variable so to store the number okay number okay we are getting the uh, actual value we are going to store in this temporary variable that's fine okay uh yeah here in the reverse rev okay simply put it we are going to store the reverse value in this variable okay okay fine we are going to use the while loop okay the number is greater than zero then get into this loop okay because the number is 353 so the number is uh, below zero so that will not work out right so we are giving the range condition in this while loop so in this while loop we are going to write the actual logic for this program and last which means uh, in each of this digit should be calculated okay uh, for example number right number mod uh, modulo uh, yeah 10 which means for each iteration it will give the last digit of this uh, number okay so for now which gives 3 and uh, int number equal number divisible by 10 yeah here i used the data type we don't need it because we already created here right so that's it in here yeah we got the digit last digit okay so what will be the value of here 10 which will be two digit right actual number is 353 if you divide this by 10 the digits will be gone 35 will be the answer as of now okay and uh, here we are going to reverse uh, this uh, you know logic so I'm going to put it into 10 so as of now it has no value for reverse the initialized value is 0 so if you guys watching this so if you are not understanding from the beginning so i'm going to explain it in detail so don't worry so those who are very uh, beginner in this programming java programming those who are not understanding it so i'm going to explain it very well so don't worry so here so what i'm going to do here is that the last value okay we are going to multiply it from the last value okay what is the reverse value reverse value is zero right 0 into 10 uh, answer is 0 right sorry here we don't need to put it in the uh, you know we have to do the addition operation here we don't need to multiply it so addition what what is the last number 3 right 3 yeah that's it so here we are going to get all uh, these all the values each you know so now the value is 3 right 
so i'm going to write a entire logic here so that you can understand it uh, well okay okay we done the first uh, iteration right three now our answer is three okay we'll go again the first loop is has ended right so again we are going back here what is the number now the second number is going to be five right five okay so what will be the number of this one already we gave you know we gone through the three so that's gone we back to the five so now if we divide like this so the five also going to be vanished sorry uh, yeah okay so we are getting one by one so okay uh, we are going back to this number yeah that's it now what will be the answer now the last value you know now is five okay what was the reverse answer in the previous iteration then in the previous iteration the reverse value is three okay okay fine so now we are getting back to this reverse the reverse uh, value is three in the previous iteration so now uh, three into ten thirty 30 plus the last value what is the last value 5 right 30 plus last 35 am i right 35 35 okay again we have one more number right we are going back to the last number here also last number because it gives the last value for each iteration so now the number we divide 10 again so the number will be 3 okay 3 okay fine we are getting back to the reverse what was the you know uh, reverse number in the previous iteration previous iteration means you know 35 right okay 35 uh, into 10 what is the answer 350 right 350 addition last value what is the last value 3 right yeah the answer is 3 353 sorry yeah so this is the answer right so this is the logic how it works i don't know whether i explained uh, in my understanding so i hope you all understood so if you not understanding yet so i can get back to uh, the previous part and come again and you will get understand it very well yeah each iteration it comes one by one each digit guys yeah that is how uh, it's working for each uh, digit so it uh, works like this logic so if you uh, manually write this and work it, work it out and which will be easier more easier so yeah at the beginning uh, those who are uh, struggling so it's calm don't worry yeah okay fine guys so now so we are going to print it out if the reverse number okay because the final output of this reverse number is 5353 right yeah is equal to temp temp means we already took a backup to this variable right we copied this value to this okay we are going to check it out the value is you know the temp equal to the reverse value is equal to temp so it is palindrome if it is not the temp 
value going to be not prime sorry palindrome sorry guys I'm kind of confused yeah let's run this program yeah 353 is palindrome so let's give some other number here 353 sorry 355 is that working no it does not prime <laughs> i'm kind of confused in the prime board in the with the palindrome board it is not palindrome as of now yeah yeah that's it guys i think it's a very simple logic i hope you all understood